In Unreal Engine 4.21, we have access to a new plugin, the Sun Position plugin. If we open up our plugins, we'll search for Sun. You now have the Sun Position Calculator. Once you enable it and restart your program, you have access to a new actor class type. So if we right click, Blueprint Class, type in Sun down here, we're going to find a Sun Position child of actor. If we were to create a new blueprint, we're going to end up with one here. I'm going to drag it into the scene in a second, but let's understand how it works. So you have your sky sphere. This is by default going to come with a new scene, and it's what gives us this look, where it's an orange look because our sun's down below the horizon. It's set up where it takes it, the information from a directional light actor. If I unhook this, we could actually do the sun height here, and you notice it moving as we adjust this value. If we hook up our light source, and then we adjust the way our light works, so we grab our light source and we rotate it, well, it doesn't update until we go back into our sky sphere and refresh the material, and you'll notice it updates and it changes the position. Well, the sun positioner, if you just simply drop it into your scene, will automatically grab what it needs based on the light source and the sky sphere and allow you to adjust those settings in one blueprint. Down here we have, by default, the sky sphere. It's going to grab it in the scene. If you don't have one, it won't find one and it won't work. You need a sky sphere. And then you have things like lot location, date and time that adjust, well, the way the sun works. So if we went ahead and did something like where I live, roughly 45 latitude, negative 122 longitude, negative eight in the time zone, no offset. Let's go with today's date. So it's gonna be the 6th of November, 2018. It is daylight savings time. We'll go and do that. Or I don't know, it happened recently. Let's just go with it is. And then adjust the time. Let's go with something like 4.45 in the PM with zero seconds. This is going to be roughly where the sun would be at this time with this latitude and longitude with that time zone, with the date, and the all the other settings. And it's nice because you can actually see it working. So let's go down to zero for the hours and zero for the minutes. You'll see that puts the sun in the correct location down there. And as we were to increase our hours as the time goes up, you can see our sun rotating correctly. And it's going to rotate in the correct axis, axis, based on your latitude and longitude. So if you're going to do something like architectural visualization, or you want something where it's kind of realistic based on where your game is supposed to be set, or your project is supposed to be set, especially for architectural visualization, you can now easily recreate the correct sun positioning for your lighting setup using the Sun Position plugin.